The Fog Cutter is one of Trader Vic's most famous cocktails in Tiki World. However, in normal cocktail world, it's pretty much unheard of, and you'll rarely ever see it on any cocktail menu when you go out into kind of bars up and down the country. Now, whether that's because it's hardcore, there's a lot of booze in here going on in here in a second, which I'll show you, whether that's because who in their right mind is gonna combine rum, gin, and brandy together in a cocktail? We certainly, not many of us would do that in the UK. Or whether it's because there's a lot of lemon juice in here, this is very citrus heavy, or whether it's because it's actually got a sherry float going on top. No, I, I, I don't know, I don't know what it is is about the fog cutter, why we don't see it more frequently on menus. But it's one of those things that Trader Vic is known for, where he combines lemon juice, uh, orange juice, rum, and orgeat syrup. Those four ingredients you will see quite a lot in his cocktails, whichever cocktail book you pick up. So I, I don't know, uh, but I'm gonna dive in and show it. All I would say is when I kind of see this on a menu, it's perhaps one that I would skip over straight away or in a cocktail book, I would skip past it. Because for me, uh, I've never really gone into the realms of combining rum, brandy and gin in a cocktail. So uh, let's get on and make it and then I'll tell, give you my tasting notes afterwards. So let me quickly run you through the ingredients that I'm gonna use in here. The, the recipe that I've gone for, I've taken straight out of the uh, the Smuggler's Cove uh, cocktail book there. So there's a couple of different ingredients that I possibly wouldn't have used, but I kind of wanna try it. Because this is a cocktail that I, actually can't remember ever making and possibly I can't remember actually ever drinking certainly in the last sort of 10 years or so so this is completely new one to me uh, so the rum I've gone for the Smuggler's Cove calls for a lightly aged blended rum so I've gone for Plantation Three Stars we could have gone uh, Dorley's we could have gone Appleton Estate we could have gone Chairman's anything like that uh, would kind of fit into that light, that blended lightly aged category uh, they want a London dry gin so I've got plenty of Bulldog here so I'm going to use Bulldog here it's probably one of my favourite London dry gins and I'm not a huge gin lover but um, that's kind of a good one now, normally I would serve this up with brandy. Every recipe in the UK uh, that I've ever seen calls for brandy, but Smuggler's Cove actually calls for Pisco. Uh, and I've got a bottle of Pisco here, so I'm gonna try it with Pisco. Pisco is obviously a kind of a style of brandy. It's a grape uh, grape spirit, essentially. So we're not too far uh, too far off there. Uh, I've got my Orgeat syrup there. I've got some lemon juice, some freshly squeezed orange juice. And in that jug there, um, I've they've called for Oloroso Sherry. Now, I haven't got any Oloroso sherry. I've got a Mon I've got Fino sherry and I've got a cream sherry here. So what I've done, uh, kind of like an Oloroso is kind of like a nutty in betweeny, uh, dry-ish, but kind of with that little hint to it. Uh, so I've combined uh, some cream sherry there and some Fino sherry, and that's going to be the float on top. Now I'm going to shake this cocktail down. This the Smuggler's Cove does call for this to be a blended cocktail, flash blended. Um, I'm not going to bother. I'm going to shake with crushed ice instead. So uh, first ingredient, we're going to go for a 60 ml double bubble of our uh, lightly aged blended rum. We are then going to go for 15 ml, uh, half an ounce of your London dry gin. And then we're, we're going quite Pisco heavy on this. Uh, 30 mil is the recipe in Smuggler's Cove. So I'm going 30 mil, one ounce of Pisco. And I don't know whether this is a, a really, really good Pisco. I'm completely novice in the whole Pisco world. I love my brandy. I know what's a good brandy and what's not, but Pisco wise, I don't know. All I would say is uh, this was kind of donated to me. I kind of actually like it to be fair, but I don't know. I've not had my mind blown by Pisco. So uh, bear with me on that one. But we're going for 30 mil, one ounce of Pisco. Go. I'm then going for some orgeat syrup. That's uh, for my guys at William Fox here. So we're just going for 15 mil, so kind of like an almond with orange blossom water. Uh, so we're going for 15 mil, half an ounce of orgeat syrup. And then this is quite juice heavy. So I've got freshly squeezed, I've got all the bits still in here. Uh, I'm going for 45 mil, one and a half ounces of lemon juice. And then I'm going exactly the same with my orange juice. So 45 mil, uh, one and a half ounces of orange juice. Now, as I said, I'm gonna shank this down with crushed ice. I've already got some in there, so I've got a bit of crushed ice there. And I'm actually gonna say, 
See, it always says add agitator cubes, and that's for the kind of the, the spindle blenders that they use. So I'm just going to add some uh, slightly bigger cubes in there as well. And then we're going to give it a good hard shake for 10 to 12 seconds. Right, and we can tell that's nice and cold. Look at that. That's what we want. So uh, now to serve this up, I, I, do you know what? I haven't rocked this out for ages. We're going tiki, so we want a kind of a tiki, uh, a tiki mug, a tiki glass. They call them fog cutter um, mugs in there, and I kind of, I think probably the closest one is one of those over there. But hey, this is right now. So uh, I'm just going to do uh, kind of a, a shake and dump, dirty dump. Now, actually, that very, very nearly finished, uh, filled the glass up. So I've just added a tiny, tiny bit more ice. And the recipe calls for 15 ml of Oloroso Sherry. I said this is a little blend of cream and fino. So 15 ml, and it's kind of floated on top. So I'm just going to pick the foot of the top ice cube and just pour it over that. And then to garnish, tiki salt style, I've got an empty uh, lime husk here. I've put a maraschino cherry on top there, and now I've just got a nice bouquet of mint there. So my first experience of a fog cutter in kind of latter life, I should say, um, what do I think? I'll be honest, I personally could do with a little bit more sugar added to it. It's quite uh, citrus heavy, it's quite lemon heavy uh, for me. So maybe like five, 10 mil of sugar syrup in, in there to kind of compete. Bear in mind, I don't kind of know how places like the Spunkler, how sweet their Orgeat syrup is. Uh, the Orgeat syrup I have over here isn't overly sweet. It's more of a flavoring in that kind of sense. So I might actually balance that out a little bit more there. But the one thing I would say is about this cocktail, don't see it as kind of a cocktail with gin with um, kind of brandy and that. Don't let that put you off because it is actually, if you could get over that citrus burst, it is actually a harmonious blend of flavours. We've got the almond notes punching through there with the rum. We've got the citrus uh, coming on through there, obviously with the orange. We do kind of get like the brandy notes, these sort of pisco notes coming through there with a little subtle hint of juniper from, because that is kind of a punchy London dry gin. So is it well balanced? Yes, exceptionally well balanced in that respect. As I say, it's not a cocktail that I would first automatically assume to go for with brandy, with rum, with gin, but it really does work. I just think for me personally, just a touch more sugar or kind of play about with the orgeat syrup that I've got to kind of actually sweeten it up slightly. So in the comments below, let me know your go-to um, fog cutter co recipe, whether you do add a bit of sugar syrup, but how sweet your orgeat syrup is, uh, what kind of, whether you're a pisco versus a brandy, let me know. Let me know whether you love um, love the fog cutter as well. As I say, it's not a kind of a classic out there cocktail, but I really do think you should try it because it does very well at what Tiki does, and that's kind of marrying like citrus with big, bold flavors. So I really, really love it. Uh, coming up right there is another kind of rum Tiki cocktail to help you on your rum journey.